Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Hey guys, what's up? Shadrock here with a video you've been waiting for for a very long time, I imagine. It is the secrets video for Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2. So, let's hop right in here to the Hunter Medals because the first couple of secrets we're going to be talking about have to do with a couple of the achievements. The first one is Reconnaissance Complete, and has another name in Legacy Collection 2. View 20 images across all 4 titles, then change the wallpaper to the secret image. Okay, here's the thing though, this one is very weird because there is actually no secret image to speak of. I've been talking to other reviewers like Proto Dude from the Rockman Corner. Yeah, he hit me up as soon as I got my review copy a couple weeks ago now. And he was having trouble unlocking this one. Because the thing is, we went in here, we got to the gallery and the museum. I'll just show you guys real quick. So, we don't know exactly what triggers it, but... You know, we just looked through like 20 images here, yada yada. And we did that, but it didn't actually unlock. So... M me and Proto Dude were kind of confused, like, okay, is there a glitch? And he reached out to Capcom, they didn't really have much to say about it. But what happened was, uh, Proto Dude later told me that he beat Mega Man X4, and that was when the secret wallpaper unlocked. And then I got it too when I ever beat X Challenge on easy mode. So yeah, it looks like unlocking the wallpaper is actually having to do with beating one of the games, not exactly the achievement itself. I imagine the achievement and the wallpaper are separate things that you unlock for some reason. So what is the wallpaper you might ask? Well, let's hop into Mega Man X4 and let's take a look, shall we? So here it is, Special Wallpaper 1. It is literally just, it is literally just Mega Man X's schematic for Mega Man X1. Yep, that's, that's it. <laughs> Uh, it's that simple really. It's not really a secret at all. It's just a little something extra But you might have just saw there that there's also a special wallpaper too. Well, what is that? Well, here you go It's literally just a random assortment of items from the SNES Mega Man X games Yep, nothing secret there either So this wallpaper if you want to know how to unlock this one I got this one whenever I got 50% of the hunter medals in Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and by the way, these wallpapers are the same between Legacy Collection 1 and 2. So there's nothing really different between the two collections as far as the wallpapers go. So with that said, then we can go ahead and hop out of Mega Man X4. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there was no actual like uh, secret images that stuck out to us in the gallery. We looked pretty thoroughly through there, both I and Proto Dude. And we really didn't find anything. I'm pretty sure... Proto Dude would be tweeting out about it by now if he knew there was something that was off there. So no X9 hints there. And now we're going to talk about the next one. Audio signal incoming. Listen to 10 tracks for long enough with the music player and then listen to the secret track. Okay. So this one, uh, I have some bad news for you. This one is actually really lame <laughs> in my opinion. And I didn't even realize it was a secret when I unlocked it. So basically, if you hop over to the Legacy Collection soundtrack, what I did was I just systematically hit play and just watched the music for a while, just left it on. So once 10 tracks are done, listen to them for long enough, what you unlock is actually, because there's a, a standard edition of Give It A Shot right here, but what the unlock is, what you unlock in the end is actually just Give It A Shot Extended. Yeah, it's just an extended version of Give It A Shot. That's it. The same song, but there is a little extra part to it. That's all you get, in all seriousness. I, I actually didn't know this was a secret. I legitimately had to look at a clean save file and compare it to my save file that unlocked it just to find out that, yep, that's it. That's really it. Like, I was shocked. Like, dude. <laughs> that's... That was really lame. <laughs> it's it's really not a secret at all. And it's probably on the soundtrack too, so... It's like, eh? Whatever, I guess. Well, okay then. Let's talk about something that's actually a little bit a little bit more interesting, but not my butt. It's still not X9. Let's go into the 100 medals here and look at our next achievement. Okay, so it's called Identity Erased. Blast through the mystery of the staff credits and return to the future. 
Okay, and you know, when we first heard about this one, we were like, Oh my gosh, oh, that's really interesting. Uh, it's, it's alright. What, what you do basically is, we got the credits here in the options menu. In most cases, you would actually see this over if you completed X challenge, and you would see the credits there. But you can always access it from the menu here, so let's go ahead and do that. And a uh, cool little thing about the any credits here is that you can actually control Mega Man X in the credits. And you can blow up all the text here. And that's basically the secret. The secret is you can blow up all these text here, destroy all the developers of Mega Man X Legacy Collection. You want to update your anger or something. <laughs> I don't know. But basically, yeah, you can do that. And basically the secret is if you destroy enough letters before the first part of the credits is done, it will actually unlock a English cover for the RE Future song. And it is a vocal song. There's a Japanese version of it that's, as far as I know, it's only exclusive to the Japanese version, Rockman X Anniversary Collection. But the English version actually does have an English cover. Which I thought, I thought that was pretty cool that they actually went, took the effort to make an English cover for it. That's something they didn't really have to do. But they totally did it. And it's sung by Janet, and the Japanese one is sung by Erica. So that's pretty much it. That's re what Return to the Future means. is the Return to the Future song, but it's an English cover. And, okay, uh, something that's lame about the secret, though, is that once you get it, you cannot listen to it again in the music player. You can only listen to it by playing through the credits again. Which is pretty lame, but, I mean, it, what are you going to do, right? I wish it could be unlocked in the music player. Maybe they'll patch it in at some point, but... That's definitely what it is. So if you want to listen to it any time, I guess you're just going to have to play through the credits or just get the soundtrack. It's actually available on Steam right now if you want to get that. Pretty dope. Alright then, let's get out of the credits here. And we have one last little secret to talk about. Let's get into X Challenge. Alright, X Challenge. So as you guys know... I've been talking about in my other videos that there is a question mark underneath the story section. And okay, so I actually found out last night what that is. It's supposed to be titled Final Battle. What is the final battle? Well, so basically you clear hard mode 9-3, the final stage, and you get this cutscene that says, Well, X and Zero has been the slayer of many a maverick. And now you're going to be able to get a taste of what that feels like to be on the receiving end. And right then, you get to fight Ultimate Armor X and Awaken Zero. The ultimate fan service battle. Holy crap. And it's not just a rehash of the X5 boss battle either. They literally change up their AI from the ground up here. X can change into his different armors. The 4th armor, Falcon armor, the, even the Shadow armor from X6. And wow, that is really cool from a fan service standpoint. I mean, his AI is a little weird. He just stands on the ground, shoots charge shots when he's ultimate armor. But yeah, that's really cool. They can change to all the different armors. That's a really great fan servicey move. Zero, on the other hand, he starts out in his awakened form, but once you defeat X, he changes into Black Zero and just goes crazy of all these different moves from all the X games, well, the PS1 games. So you got Rekoha, you got all these other moves from Mega Man X4 through X6. So yeah, it's a pretty cool battle, and if you want to see the full thing, this battle was actually uploaded by YouTube user Stop. So I'm going to have a link to this video down in the description below if you want to check that out for yourself. Oh, here's something that's really disappointing about this 9-4 secret fight though. The only way you can fight this is by beating the last stage on hard mode again. You cannot practice 9-4 in practice mode, unfortunately. Apparently, even if you click the final battle icon, you can only watch the cutscene about X and Zero. You cannot fight them again at will. You have to beat the final stage once again to actually play it again. That's pretty sad. Like, that's another thing I hope they might patch in is being able to fight them at will. And even then, hard mode is really, really tough. I only see like maybe 1% of the player base ever seeing this fight, unless they look it up on YouTube like I did. Oh, by the way, when you beat X Challenge, you actually get an assortment of different secret images too. For being easy mode, you get this snazzy little picture of X in his X Challenge armor. Looks really nice. For being normal mode, you get literally the navigators in bikinis. Yep, wowzers. 
At least they have lines drawn on them so you still know that they're robots, but yeah, man. For being in hard mode, you get a nice little picture of Iris. Man, all the new Iris drawings in Mega Man X Legacy Collection is really pretty. But there you go, that's the last secret of X Challenge in Mega Man X Legacy Collection as a whole, unlocked. So yeah, uh, sorry guys, there's no Mega Man X9 hints in Mega Man X Legacy Collection. <laughs> uh, it's pretty, it's pretty sad actually, but I guess since the Mega Man 11 thing with Legacy Collection 2 happened, you know, Capcom pretty much knew that we were going to be looking around for X9 hints and it, it's not here. It's just nowhere to be seen as far as we know. There might be something that you can unlock for getting 100% of the achievements, so I guess I can work towards that and tell you guys if I find anything. But other than that, that's pretty much all the secrets I've found in this game so far. And guys, if you really want Mega Man X9, my advice to you is you got you guys need to buy this game. That's my only advice to you really is uh, support Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2. Because we've already got confirmation that it was actually the sales of Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 that led to Mega Man 11 becoming a thing. So I think that these collections do really well and I heard that it was actually the best seller on eShop, uh, on the top spot at least. So yeah, if this collection continues to do really well and sell very well, I think Mega Man X9 could actually happen here in the next couple years. We'll just have to see. Anyways, that's been the secrets for Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And for more things on Mega Man X and everything else Mega Man 2, stay tuned to Shadowrock ZX. Until next time, rock on and have a nice day, folks.